In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the spark plug on a 2007 Honda Silverwing. In order to get to the spark plugs, we actually need to open up the seat. Because there's a couple screws that we have to remove before we can do anything else. Under the front of the seat, there's a small screw neatly tucked away and hidden from sight when the seat is closed. There's also a screw just like this on the other side. My screwdriver here. And we gotta pull that screw out before we can access the spark plugs. Again, put the screw in a safe place because you don't want to lose it. After removing the screw from both sides, you close the seat. It's not important to necessarily latch it, but it is important to make sure you grab any tools that you may have been storing under the seat out before you get to this point. The cover is removed by pulling it towards the back wheel, then lifting up in the front and kind of wiggling it out might catch on the bottom of the seat, but it will come off. Now we have access to both of the spark plugs and a couple other little details. While only slightly visible here, we can see the two spark plugs pointing at them with the screwdriver. One is actually out of sight right here. The other is right here. You can kind of see the spark plug boot and the wire. This is really tricky watching the screen trying to figure out which way to go? <laughs> Very bad at this. But there's a second spark plug boot. It is a two cylinder, so it does have two spark plugs. Both spark plugs should probably be changed at the same time if you're changing one or changing brands. You can see here just how long the spark plug boot is. I'd estimate about four, maybe five inches. That means you're going to need a very deep sp spark plug socket to reach down into the engine cylinders to pull those spark plugs out. I went ahead and loosened up the spark plugs off camera, but as you'll notice here, I'm using two extensions plus the socket. So you are going to need quite a bit of length to reach in here. As you'll notice, I'm just clearing the seat with these two. Now, once you have loosened the spark plug up, you can pretty much just thread it right out by hand without needing to keep the socket on. Spark plug should come out right in the rubber socket. I don't know if this is going to focus. There we go. It's a little dirty on the end. Um, I'm going to end up replacing it just because I'm replacing everything on the bike. But it's probably all right. When buying new spark plugs, they're not going to come with the correct gap. So make sure to consult your user's manual to see what the gap should be on your spark plug. In this case, we're looking at 0.031 to 035, or they give you it in metric as well. To gap your spark plug, it's as easy as getting a spark plug gapper, taking your new spark plug, in this case this is the old, finding the right distance, 035, and sliding it between. Now, if you have too much space, if you have too much of a gap, you need to make it smaller, obviously. Now, there are a couple different ways to do this. On the spark plug gapping tool, there's usually these little teeth kind of things which you can put into the spark plug. And you can kind of pry it open if it's a little small. If it's a little too big, sometimes just tapping this end lightly very lightly, word of caution, you don't want to smash it because you could break it, but tapping it lightly on a solid surface will bend it a little smaller. And then you check it again against the size and keep repeating that process until you get it to fit. In this case, these are the old spark plugs and they are gapped correctly. Different spark plugs claim to give different performance. So be sure and do your homework before you go out and buy any spark plugs. Replacing the spark plugs is basically just the inverse of taking the spark plugs out. Um, looking in the manual though, it does say if you're reinstalling the old spark plug, 
turn until it's tight, and then an apron after it seeks. If you're installing a new plug, tighten it twice to prevent loosening. First, you tighten the plug. For NGK brand, half a turn after it seeks. For Denso brand, one turn after it seeks. Then you loosen the plug, then you retighten it, and once it's snug, an eighth turn again. So, again, make sure you read your manual just to make sure you don't wreck your engine or blow something up because you don't want to ruin your scoop. In the manual, it says to hand thread the spark plugs to avoid cross that. I found this kind of amusing. How am I supposed to reach my hand way down in there? Remember, I had to use two extensions put together to reach. There's no way I can reach this down there by hand and thread it in to avoid cross threading. What are they thinking? You can't physically reach. You would have to have super thin fingers. Not to mention you'd have to be able to bend them really goofy. So, unfortunately you're going to have to use, unless you do have really thin fingers, you're going to have to do it in here. And just be careful to not cross thread it. When you get to that final tightening stage, a good way to do it is set your ratchet straight up and down. Now we know a quarter would be straight out, 90 degrees. Eighth, 45 degrees. So just twist your ratchet a quarter of the way, or half the way rather, between the two positions. And there you go, with one eighth tape. All that's left to do is put the boots back over the spark plugs, and you're back in business. This can be a little tricky because these boots are so long. But once you get down the hole, there's really not much to do but push it in. This one I found more difficult than the first. There just doesn't seem to be quite as much play as the first one had. But if you slip it underneath the seat, and I realize my head's blocking this and you really can't see what I'm doing, you'll find the tip of the rubber has enough play in it that it'll kind of just snap into place. And then again, you just push it on until it seats. Putting the cover on, it's just the reverse of taking it off, kind of wiggle it in place underneath the seat. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, that's not like copyright infringement. I think this was something else. Slide it forwards. All you have to do then is open the seat up, put the two screws back in, and everything's as it was. <laughs>